Here comes Ray Ziegler. He's going to come over and talk to the Newland family. And we got Ben Miller in there. So looks like uh, Ray's horses are coming on out. Oh, it's not his. There's Mr. Stoneman. He's coming over to liven up the party. That wasn't Ray's horse. This Ray's horse right here. There's uh, Eric Thompson and his wife. My wife, Susie. They're always talking about wood burning or, or uh, something or other. Here comes the big boy on out. We got three lightweight teams. Some of them couldn't make it today at Hawkins. And we have 11 heavyweights. So it'll be a good show today. Well, let's, uh, let's get these big bad boys out of the trailer and uh, see if we can get a, a show on. Is the one that's already tied up. I can tell. I recognize him. Pulling, pulling right out the gate. Pulling, pulling how much weight? From the little guy to the massive ones. Team and drivers are having fun. Start them off with the boat very light, then add weight to make it a fight. That was very good. That team of horses was in Denver, Colorado this winter in January at the stock show and got second out there out of quite a few pair of horses from all over too. So that's not, we only have three pair, but they're good pair of horses. Hey, that was the Tommy Walsh repair, Steve Ernest. And so now we're he's grabbing the, the truck there is Tom gonna drive the Hilo. easy. They're very young pair of horses too. I believe this is their second actual contest together. Probably maybe even third contest ever. But he's got them lined right up and like I said they are no slouch. So we're going to do another thing here too where we're going to Calcutta these horses. Um, we're going to go through them all here once or twice and then we're going to sell them here. Hey, that was 
is Tanya Wallstra. Okay, now we're ready for the Aaron and Todd Kenworthy out of South Dakota. South Dakota. Yeah, they'll get the award for you, Swift. Thank you. Thank you. That was that team. Now we need the weight truck again. Another thousand pounds. As you can see, they're going to cook through these a little bit. A little bit of sand on there. You can... We have one. It's on our phone. <laughs> They made that look easy. Got them hooked on. Give them a round of applause. You bet. Okay. Tom's getting these things out in the crowd. Getting to get them. He's on to bigger and better things. There's a lot of pulls this summer. He'll be a top competitor. Okay. They're bringing the other pair up. Tommy Wallstrip. Keep watch, they bring these horses in one side, then the other, someone brings them in on the other side. There's a lot of, this is, there's more adjustments than there is in NASCAR if you watch. See this one horse has his legs wrapped. He sometimes bumps himself in the ankles with his shoes. All, all these horses have shoes on. So he's got those wrapped up so that if he bumps himself there, then he doesn't make a mark. So nothing's wrong with the horse. He's perfectly healthy, much healthier than I am as far as standing up. Now instead of 6,500. South, south, south of 10, we count one, two, three, four, five, then <laughs> the sled 75. There we go. <laughs> Okay, that made that look easy too. Okay, now we're on to the next pair here. Yep, Tommy Wallstra. Everybody want to be real quiet till he gets to the end here. It's starting to get a little heavier, so let Tommy do the driving here on him. 
and, I, and everybody else as we get through here. So once they're done, all the applause in the world. Tommy got her across. Very good job. Okay, now the Ken Lindley pair. Barb, do you have one of our flyers? Chip and Don. Chip and Don. easy too. As you see these little blue blue ribbons on the rope down here, obviously they, the ropes are down so that they can't step on them. They have to stay and not go out into the crowd. You know, those ribbons are what in, is the indicator for turning around back. So he's past that ribbon. They're going to turn that around so that they can head back the other way. Hey, Thomas, we're ready for another, another wait. Uh, we've got three Jackson and Davy. stick his nose out there and just says come on buddy okay Tommy Wallstra also headed south Another heavyweight horse puller coming in there. You can see that guy right there is from Indiana. He he's about the most excited thing you've ever seen. So he may run over here when he gets out of the truck. You watch. <laughs> You told you to come in the other way. <laughs> Very 
very nice job. Tommy Wallstra, all the way 27 and a half feet. Okay, are we past the ribbon, folks? Don't look like it, does it? Okay, you can see down there them. Uh, you can see the ribbon down there, so there this makes the where that makes the difference. He's going to continue on towards the south. Thomas, you want to put a 500 on the clock on the tractor so you're ready for us, so we don't have to wait for you. Okay, here comes Tom Brown with the Kenworthy pair. Again, like I say, pretty nice pair of horses, Chip and Don. I got another one. Another pair across. Okay, we're, things are getting a little tighter now. We'll see if they can do math even more. We're going to put 500 pounds on instead of 1,000 this time. All right. One one time, Adam does have a day job. He doesn't go. Doesn't do anything when he goes, but he goes every day. Better forgive him for stepping on your phone. If you don't, if you're mad at him, I'll keep him. Okay, they're right on the spot with the other pair here coming. Tommy Walster, Steve Ernest, Indiana. This is a battle of the states, kind of, I guess. Kentucky, Michigan, Indiana, and South Dakota. didn't get the best start there but boy they sure tried give him a round of applause for that it's not easy when they have to start that way he's got another chance here at the end of the round 23 feet even so remember they got to go 27 and a half 23 feet so you lack four and a half feet that's reed city math boys okay so now we got kenworthy they're headed north as well we give the horses three chances actually to, to complete you. back to Mr. Walster again. You can see now if those ribbons come into play. Now he has a chance choice. He can go either direction here. He could go on towards the green fence down here or back where he came from. So we're going to let him decide that. Which way he wants to go. Probably wants to go back towards home, towards south. I would think. Yep. So that's what time is. So they're switching it around. Okay, 
face. So be real quiet while that time you talk to him so you can get him off a little better at this time. See if you can get him down the track here. start but yep that's a big load 9,000 pounds for a lightweight pair of horses they're pulling almost three times their body weight so that is very good give Tommy and Steve a specific thanks for coming that'll put them in third place 16 feet even so 23 feet is going to place him on that this is early yet we're still getting them into shape too so Tommy will work on them all summer and like I said this is a very good team to feel the horses even though there's third so there's no shame in being third here today all right that's very good give him a round of applause it's a lot of work to get them things work We really don't like him to come. The reason we started putting in heavyweight and lightweight is because he'd bring them things to the heavyweight pole that made us people with heavyweight horses look foolish. And so we didn't. We started making him his own class so that he would quit making us look foolish. So he says the Kenworthy Perry's not going to hitch again. They came a long ways too. So that's going to be our winner right there, Tom Brown. Yep. O'Neill, bring him right up here to the middle, Tom. Okay, huh? and right slash chance, anybody here from the bar want to come out and give away the trophy? Michelle here, she's, here's the person doing most of the work. <laughs> and then here comes the other guy, Doug Hayes, right hand man. No, nope. nope, they're a team. They're the guys right there. All of them together is what makes it get it done. Okay, so give him a thought, give him just a minute. Like I said, that team of horses you'll see all summer winning bulls all over the place. Got a brand new harness on them, they look like a million bucks. Clip to a T. He's got a pair of heavyweight horses too that'll be right, right we'll be in trouble with too. Good job, Tom Brown. Okay, so got one more pair, the Kenworthy pair they'll bring up. The same crew there, those three people brought the other pair of horses too. They actually brought four pair to us this weekend. Tom's truck broke down and he, he left with it broke down to get here. And then we went and rescued him north of Grand Rapids. So that's how dedicated he is. They were, like I said, second clear out there in Denver, Colorado, the middle of the winter here. Another very nice pair of horses.
Okay, give them a round of applause there while they're getting their picture taken. It's pretty cool. Pull it, pull it, right out the gate. together tearing up the dirt the horses soon here go 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 they'll give a trawl till they hear woe good luck to all who put on a show they all competitors that we know it'll soon be over thanks for watching everything horses and please subscribe pulling pulling right out the gate pulling pulling how much